In one of our previous issues, we started a story about the evolution of snakes. This group of reptiles appeared in the second half of the Jurassic, but managed to survive the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And now, on our planet, there are a huge number of species of these reptiles. Over the past time since their appearance, a variety of snakes lived in different parts of our planet, many of which are truly unique. By subscribing to our channel, you will be the first to know when new videos are released. Also, our regular viewers have the opportunity to share their opinions about the topics raised in the video in the comments and support the creators of the channels with likes. All modern snakes are divided into two large groups, giant snakes that appeared in the Cretaceous period, as well as snakes and vipers, which separated into a separate branch of development in the Tertiary period. First, snakes appeared in the Eocene, and then at the beginning of the Neogene, highly specialized vipers appeared. Snakes share many traits with the lizards from which they descended. Sometimes scientists even combine them into one squad. But there are many significant differences in the structure of the body and internal organs of these reptiles. In the course of evolution, snakes lost not only their limbs, but also their ears with eardrums. True, such structural features are also inherent in some types of lizards. They are also characterized by a special skull structure in which branches of the lower jaw and some of the other bones connected are movable. Separately, it is worth talking about the snake's spine. The number of vertebrae in different species can range from 180, as in short wide vipers, to 435, as in false leg snakes. The common snake has 200 vertebrae, and one of their extinct species of giant snakes had 565. A characteristic feature of snakes is the absence of the sternum and shoulder girdle. Since they do not have a sternum, the ribs are attached only to the spine. They are present in all vertebrae with the exception of the atlas, the first vertebra from the base of the skull. The last ribs are located near the cloaca, and in many species of snakes, they branch out. Due to the elongated body, all the internal organs of snakes have an elongated shape. This applies primarily to the heart and stomach. This structure of the digestive tract, together with the expanding mouth and movable bones of the skull, allows snakes to swallow prey that is much larger than them. In the process of growing snakes in many species, the movement of organs through the body is observed. Scientists have revealed the dependence of the structure and location of internal organs on the lifestyle of these reptiles. In particular, the body structure of tree snakes differ from the body structure of snakes living on the ground. The lungs of different types of snakes are quite unique. The left lung is present only in pseudo-leg snakes and only in boas. It has the same dimensions as the right. In other groups of modern snakes, only one lung functions normally. At the same time, it acts as an airbag, preventing the snake from suffocating while it's busy swallowing food. Snakes also lack iris muscles, eyelids, and nictating membranes. Their main olfactory organ is a forked tongue. It draws in air or particles of the palpated surface and delivers them to the so-called Jacobson's organ. This unique analyzer in the form of two holes in the upper palate is able to capture the slightest odors on the tip of the tongue or in the inhaled air. All existing snakes are divided into several groups. The most ancient of them are considered false-legged or boa constrictor. They live in many tropical or temperate regions. The length of this type of snake can range from 50 centimeters to 10 meters. Their jaws are equipped with many teeth and elongating grasping teeth are located in the front of the mouth. Representatives of the python order live in Asia and Africa, and the boa constrictor order lives in America and the Pacific Islands. Most of all modern snakes belong to the already shaped family. Basically, 
they have teeth in the same size. But representatives of the four subfamilies of snakes are poisonous. At the back of the upper jaw, there are several teeth with a longitudinal groove that is connected to the venom-secreting gland. Prominent representatives of such poisonous snakes are the mangrove snake from Southeast Asia, the South European lizard snake, and the gray tree snake, and boomsang that live in Africa. In the last two species, poisonous teeth are not very deep in the mouth. Therefore, they are dangerous to people. According to the shape of the body, representatives of the asp family are similar to snakes, but they have two prehensile teeth in the front edge of the upper jaw. The structure of these teeth suggests that in the course of evolution, the channels for injecting poison turned from open to closed. In a separate group, scientists distinguish sea snakes. In their structure, they are very close to asps, but they have a number of features characteristic of waterfowl creatures. Their nasal openings are located in the upper part of the head and can be closed. The tail acquired a flattened shape, turning into a swimming tool. The most recent group of snakes are vipers. Their upper jaw is shortened and can bend towards the palate. Poisonous teeth have internal channels for injecting hemo or neurotoxins. Rattlesnakes are considered the most progressive group of vipers. They are distinguished from the rest of the family by the presence of a new organ for snakes. These are small indentations on the muzzle between the nasal openings and the eyes. With their help, snakes can capture thermal radiation. During the existence of snakes on our planet, many species of these unusual creatures appeared and died out. In the course of evolution, they gradually acquired all the devices and tools that their descendants now use. Among these prehistoric snakes, there are quite unusual and important species for science. About those that are transitional forms from lizards to snakes, we talked about the evolution of snakes in the previous issue. It's time to get acquainted with the largest extinct snakes. One of these snakes is the Dinylacea. She lived in South America at the end of the Cretaceous period. Its maximum length was about 3 meters and weight up to 10 kilograms. At this size, she could prey on baby dinosaurs. It is in this episode that is included one of the episodes of the documentary Walking with Dinosaurs where this snake hunts small tyrannosaurs. But T-Rex and Delicia lived not only on different continents, but also at different times. Gigantophis ranks second among the largest snakes in the history of Earth. This snake lived in North Africa about 35 to 40 million years ago. So far, science has only a few fossilized bones and vertebrae found in the Sahara Desert more than a hundred years ago. By comparing them with the corresponding bones of modern reptiles, the researchers established the approximate size of this snake. Its length, according to scientists, was up to 10 meters and could weigh up to 500 kilograms. In the period from 89 to 21 million years ago, snakes belonging to the genus Matsoya lived in many regions of the planet. Some of their species could have a length of 9 meters and weighed to 20 kilograms. The remains of these snakes have been found in Argentina, Brazil, India, Spain, and Madagascar. Another snake that fed on small dinosaurs was the Sinea. He lived on the territory of modern India at the end of the Cretaceous period. Its length could reach 3.5 meters and weight up to 20 kilograms. The skeleton of this snake, discovered in 2010, was wrapped around a hatched egg and the remains of a small seropod lay nearby. Unlike its modern relatives, the mouth of the Sinea could not open much to swallow large prey. But the structure of the bones of the skull of this snake shows that prerequisites for the creation of this unique mechanism have already been outlined. 
The Australian continent also boasts its own giant snake. It's called the Wanabi. Despite the lack of family ties with modern boas and pythons, she used the same hunting method. In length, this snake could grow to up to 6 meters and weigh up to 50 kilograms. But the leader among the giant snakes known to science, without a doubt, is the Titan of Boa. The name of this snake is translated as Titanic Boa Constrictor. This giant lived in South America around 58 to 60 million years ago. According to scientists, the length of this boa constrictor could reach 13 meters and a mass of 1.2 tons. It is believed that she had a camouflaged color and lay in wait for her prey near water bodies. Thank you for those who watched this video to the end. To learn more about the history and appearance of snakes and other animal species from different eras, we advise you to pay attention to other videos posted on our channel.